ladies and gents and the rest today is the day this is a final episode well it's not a final episode they will never end right because they release new units every season but uh, for the you know for that mass that was given to us at the beginning of the game this is the final episode we're going to show i'm going to show you all the last units with all their all their talents and that's going to be it eh up, 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 let's go Karen Bloodhoof. Uh, talent number one, let's go. Aftershock. When stun expires, affected enemies are dazed for five seconds. Here's a problem with this talent. Karen starts attacking. I'll show you one sec. Okay. So Karen starts attacking when so when he is in the melee range. These uh but however his attack animation has a long range, and if somebody is getting like is coming from far they will be affected by this daze effect but there is no point to daze uh, for example these two core hounds and this molten giant because these uh, slows enemies it doesn't do anything else right that's why um <laughs> it it doesn't really have any value give you any value right now uh, unless they make it so that Karen attacks uh Karen attack is going to be ranged then it's going to be amazing Talent number two, planes running. Move 50% faster and gain a fast trait. Wow, this is a good one. Look at this. Look how fast he is. So he gains fast trait and on top of that, you get plus 50% movement speed. Some geniuses combine it with bloodlust and it's even faster. This is literally like the fastest unit unbuffed in the game with this talent. Talent number three, Reincarnation. After death, resurrect 50% health once. Okay, here's how it works. The Cairn almost dies. Boom, this is the footage from the fight. Ta-da! Resurrects with 50% health, but <laughs> already less than 50% health. I need to kill it a second time. Yep. There we go. So that is how it works. So what do we take? Well, it's very simple, obviously, right? Uh, reincarnation is number one because it gives you pretty much 50% more health. It's amazing. And you, people, when, you, when they kill you, they lose focus. They stop focusing your cairn and then you resurrect and you can attack. It's very useful. Uh, planes running is number two just because it's less useless than Aftershock. And sometimes people find use for that. Uh, like it's really good at taking chests at the beginning because for five five gold unit can literally get to any um, any spot uh, on the map really fast right and after shock it's talent number three it's just garbage uh, I don't think it works like the, the, the actual the core design of this talent is wrong I think uh, just because this days uh, doesn't really give you any value when it starts working Sneedo. Talent number one, lead with greed. Gain an additional plus two gold when Sneed triggers Sneed before greed. It's very simple. When you when you Sneed triggers, there we go, plus four. Instead of plus two, when, when you would get without this talent or if any other siege unit would do it, when Sneed triggers Sneed before greed, you get plus two extra gold. Does exactly what it says. See, plus four instead of plus two. Next talent is mine is money, friend. Gain the minor trait. Here's how it works. Zzzit. He takes everything in pretty much one hit. And it doesn't matter how much gold is in the node. If it's one, two, or three, it's going to be the exact same speed of taking the gold. All right? Next talent is land grab. Gain a level whenever Sneed before greed triggers. Let's go. As you can see, our Sneed is level 25. Boom. 
Level 26, as soon as somebody opens the chest, as soon as somebody uh, takes uh, some siege unit, uh, takes the chest or summoning stone or tower, uh, it's always, it's all sneed, uh, sneed before greed, which means it will, every time it will give you a level. However, there is a level cap, it's 10. So you cannot gain more than 10 levels from triggering sneed before greed on, uh, on, on one sneed. So what do we take? The choice is kind of obvious. Number one, 100%, you take lead with greed, gain an additional plus two gold when the sneed triggers sneed before greed. In PvE, in PvP, this is what you take. It gives you an enormous amount of gold when you open gold chests. Uh, it gives you like crazy gold when you just play sneed. Um, and you do, the, you know, the destroy towers takes or take things take chests, summoning stones it just you're gonna be super schmooper rich this is the best talent out of three hundred percent number two it doesn't really matter obviously i i took land grab i never used it minor trade can give you some value in some encounters we don't know about yet uh but right now again it's not reused i took elite versus greed land grab and money m mine is money friend this is my order, never regret it. This is what you could do too. As long as you take lead with greed as number one, the rest doesn't matter. Murloc Tidehunters, talent number one, safety bubble. Deploy with a bubble that blocks the first attack. You're about to see why this unit is one of the best in PvP, watch. This is level 14 Murlocs versus level 28 Deep Breath, watch. Up, they are alive. So this bubble protects you from absolutely everything. That's why it's extremely valuable talent, not only for this Murlocs, but in game in general, it's really, really, really good. However, it's very weak against uh, things like poison because poison does ticks and one tick of poison, even if it does like one damage, it removes the bubble. So any type of attack removes the, this bubble. However, th that includes any all the deadly attacks as well. Talent number two, careful aim. Gain plus two range. Here is a difference between um, range and not, not having range. Um, that is the difference. If you don't see the difference, it's your fucking problem. The range is different. Yeah. I know, you already know what the most useless uh, talent is going to be, right? Next talent is more locks. Deploy with plus one additional Murloc. I found this talent in a PvE encounter as well. This is what it looks like. Instead of two, you're going to throw three Murlocs like that. Um, except they're going to be yours, right? And they're just going to perform normally. Except there's going to be three of them. It's really good, you know, if you want to split them in PvP, we might have some use for it, but not. we haven't found anything yet. But again, if when the numbers matter, uh, when the quantity matters, you can use this talent and you're going to get a value out of it. So what do we take? Number one is 100% million, trillion, quadrillion percent safety bubble. This is the best talent, one of the best talents in the game, not only in the, for, the, for Murlocs. Uh, number two, I would say Morlocs uh, is number two because that gives you extra Murlocs. Like I said, it, it might have some value in the future, or at least you can split them. You know, you can send them three different ways instead of being able to send them on the two different ways, right? Um, and number three, careful aim. It's completely useless garbage uh, talent, um, at least right now. Um, so we don't even need this at all. But as, as a third talent, you will have to take it. So that's how it works. Oh, and that is the last unit, ladies and gentlemen. Atos. Now you can come up with your own tier lists. You can do whatever the hell you want. You don't need to listen to other people's tier lists. If you're watching this, 
you are the fucking tier list, okay? And when, okay, I'm, not, I'm just going to stop here. That's all.